I prefer to add to ourselves as bio-artists or like art scientists instead of just artists. I'm really interested in um, techno-materialism, which is the idea of repurposing technologies for a more social activist mm -hmm. um, outcome and as a social activist tool. A lot of the times when the air prosthetics are made, they're quite artificial and they just look like bits of technology and they're not very... It's not something you'd want to wear on a daily basis. We want it to look as natural as possible, so that it almost just looks like an extension of the body that's happened organically. The oracle is the medical term for the outer ear, and the title of the ambitious art and science project of Central St Martin's BA Fine Arts students, Neil Chikono and Faye Matloub. I'm Poppy Jasmine Hawkes, a second year fashion journalism student at Central St Martin's. I spent a day with Neil and Faye at St Martin's Art Studios, to discover more about their work and how they are combining their interests in technology and biology with their art degree. So we're currently looking into biohacking and arts and science. Our entire practice focus, uh, focuses on integrating art and science into one practice. <laughs> so looking at things that are traditionally academic through an artistic perspective and then turning things that are traditionally very academic into something that can be open and accessible to the public and educational for everyone. Uh, so the current project focuses on the ear and how we can enhance our hearing for those who are hard of hearing or just the general public and we are looking into creating these models. Before the Oracle we had um, multiple projects that we wanted to um, pursue. So. Um, we wanted to cultivate micro-tactic bacteria um, and um, do lots of um, cybernetic enhancements and surgeries to myself, for okay. example, putting in a magnet ear, which would have allowed me to do some exciting things with the micro bacteria. It would have allowed us to like redefine what Central St. Martins is as an artistic institution and what students are capable of doing here. Together, these second year students on the 3D fine art pathway are using biohacking and sculpture to create an external organ to enhance human hearing. The pair conducted research and submitted their paper about the oracle to the lab London Hackspace in Wembley. The lab granted Neil and Faye access to research using their facilities. However, the coronavirus outbreak has obstructed their plans for further scientific development there. So back on campus, the bio-artists are utilising their skills and whatever is available to them at the university to continue the project. It's hard to focus more on things we do on a more active level within the studio because we don't have access to the uh, lab anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, then this work, because I was working on the ear last year a little bit, looking at prosthetics, um, and we just decided to develop it into some like new crazy idea this year because we have time. Before I met me, I was interested in sound art. So I was kind of interested in using sound to simulate an experience. And I feel like with biohacking and body enhancement, you can actually create those experiences in real time. Like people can experience things that are almost impossible by technology. So we've decided to start um, by creating clay prosthetics of like what could potentially be the basis for the shape. So we were just studying the external ear and how various folds of the pina can help enhance sound. So we just like took all that information in from our research and created like a series of clay prosthetics. We want to like kind of begin to show people as technology progresses, we all have other options available to us um, to enhance our hearing as well as to aid our hearing. Um, and a lot of our work focuses on making aware that art and science is a very tangible field that everyone can be involved in. So whatever pieces of our stuff are showing, what people are not only just admire the work but like, educate people so that everyone can have this open access of knowledge which is quite limited when it comes to science and art. How are you finding presenting this research to your art tutors because it is so academic based? Um, how do you then help them understand that this is also coming from an artist's perspective as well? 
And well, last year we kind of really struggled with that because um, we kind of struggled trying to make it visual. So over the holidays, we had to like think of ideas and ways to kind of make it more interesting. So we like decided to do lots of drawings, spend more time illustrating everything, all of our processes, all of our ideas, just so um, people could have some imagery to look at and help them figure what's going on. Despite the setbacks and struggles of blending the different fields of art and science, as well as persevering through COVID restrictions, the duo continue to experiment and aim to create their fully functioning oracles. Driven by xenofeminist ideology, which is utilising technological advancements to improve the livelihoods of people, Faye and Neil are still exploring the conflicts of being critical of technology, but also wanting to elevate cybernetic enhancements intended to help society. So we want to go into technology and create more technology. Do you feel like you're kind of feeding into the fire or do you feel like you're putting it out? I would say I'm pretty, I'm, I want to try and put it out, but I know that it's like a huge system that is bigger than me. But I, I want to like start creating ideas and you know, the practice that can inspire other people to kind of change their thinking.